Oh, there is gonna be a fight. Love it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is too funny. Hey guys, it's Ian, and today I'm going to be acting to Bridgerton episode 7. Last episode was interesting to say the least. <laughs> a lot happened as per. It seems like every episode from like episode four, it was just like drama, drama, drama. Oh, today I'm dosed up because, <laughs> because I've got one of these like, do you know these like vitamin? Um, you drop it in the water and it like, this is so satisfying, hold on. Ah, oh, oh my God, it splashed. See, look how satisfying that is. Am I the only one? That is oh, like a bath bomb. Anyway, I don't know if it does anything, but it's all part of my diet. Which I have actually stuck to. I, since the 1st of January, I have lost 11 pounds. Yeah. I want to lose, like, more face fat, though. Anyone have any tips? Comment down below. Before I start this video, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. All my social media links are in the description below if you want to follow me in any of those. Like I said, last episode, a lot happens. Daphne and Simon are actually animals. <laughs> they will literally do it anytime, anywhere. Whoa. It just turned into like insta fizz. They will literally just do it anywhere. Like they, I mean, fair enough, but they were at it all the time until she realized what he was doing. But then she could have dealt with it in a completely different way. She could have like said to him, I know what you do at the end of sex means and that is the reason i'm not pregnant and you're lying to me or something she should have just said that what she did was like completely wrong she said something along the lines of like afterwards something like you tricked and deceived me which that's basically what she did to him like a bit of a hypocrite but anyway i'm 95 percent sure it's penelope i knew it had to be someone rich because how else would they know about all like the gossip and stuff the only people that knew about marina's pregnancy were the featherington family it could be any of them but the other two sisters don't have anything against Marina. And the last um, Lady Whistledown post exposed that Marina was actually pregnant and she had been before she got there and stuff. And it's basically just the perfect revenge plan because then Colin, I mean, as you saw, he was dropped his bag and was like, oh no. So he probably won't go now. So it's the perfect revenge plot. On the topics of Penelope though, I feel bad for her. That scene where she was crying and stuff like, oh, break my heart. But at the same time, Marina's got to do what she got to do. Obviously, it's wrong because she tri basically tricked Colin into a marriage and soon to be pregnancy. And by the looks of it, she was never going to tell him that he was not the father of the baby, which is completely wrong. But things were different back then. And if you were a single mum back then, it was looked down upon. So it's it's a sticky one. It's a sticky one. Another thing that I did realise, not last episode, the, the episode before was Benedict and that art guy. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It seemed like something was there. Just the way they like looked at each other and stuff, like I wouldn't be surprised if next season. Season one, episode seven, Oceans Apart. Red light, stop sign. Oh, that song has just been stuck in my head. Oh, she's good at playing piano. Oh my God, I thought someone just got shot. Oh. oh. Now he's gonna disturb her. Oh, we love shooting pigeons. Oof. <laughs> the games begin. The games begin. I mean, she's pretty good at playing piano. You can't lie. Wow. Oh, the eyes. Are they going to have, like, aggressive sex, though? <laughs> I couldn't already say it. They're just going to be like, you bitch, and then slam up against the bookcase. You cannot believe I shall welcome you back into my bed after your lies and deception. Yeah, lies and deception, but that's what you did to him. Please request that His Grace prepare his largest carriage. Oh. I shall require my space. Oof. The beef, the beef between them. It's kind of funny, really. Horrid smear on Ooh. anyone nearby. Who's still my Sherry? My Sherry. Oh, that's kind of good. In just as perilous position. Oh, Lovely day, is it not, Lady Richmond? The fallen Miss Thompson can only hope she shall find a refuge somewhere. I'm sorry, my lady, but we are full. Even charity requires funds, of which you must have considerable amounts, I presume. <laughs> Funny. I don't get it. Why can't she stay with, like, the feather interns? Is it just too dishonorable? Dishonorable. There is no need to act the jailer. I shall not discover I'm with child within the next hour, shall I? I was gonna say take a pregnancy test, but I was like, oh, probably won't, don't have them by then. You are correct, sir. What are you doing here, Daph? Should you not be 
frolicking in newlywed bliss. Ooh. Sticky topic. So much to talk about, they simply have no breath left to discuss other matters. I'm so very glad this has all been settled on my behalf. I feel bad for him because he was actually like in love with her. And they were going to have like, really a little romantic to marry like, getaway. Yeah. Did. Whistledown knew her better than you. And Whistledown knows everyone's secrets. Whistledown or Penelope. When I think of her, I only want to be near her, to be with her. Despite all reason oh, otherwise. Oh, he still loves her. That's kind of cute. I'm not surprised he does because obviously you can't just switch off your feelings. The thing is, you can't really go back to her because otherwise it's going to be like scandalous. So, so, so scandalous. If you really must speak with Miss Thompson, perhaps I can arrange a rendezvous. Chaperoned, obviously. The thing is, you can't talk to him about it because like, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? She can't exactly be like, Simon wouldn't come inside me, so I made him. I presume you won't speak of what happened on your honeymoon, either. Nothing happened on my honeymoon. Well. I think there's been about four of these I can't sleep scenes. Oof. I mean, that's not... You feel away? <laughs> that is not exactly like subtle, is it? I've already seen you. Yeah, God, it's a bit dumb. You were out all night doing God knows what with God knows whom. With whom? You wound me. She thinks he would cheat on her. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, I swear, <laughs> her family is just like, what if one of her like brothers or sisters come out and they're just like, where are they? Oh my God, they're on the stairs. Oh, I feel bad for her back though. <laughs> Kiss my designer vagina. Oh, should we go into the bedroom? Finish what we started? He's gonna say no. He's gonna be like, no. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, turn her down. Oh. Our lives will be entirely separate. This, this cannot happen. This will not happen. Do you understand me? Jeez. It's all kicking off, isn't it? Love it. <laughs> and I wish to avoid any further scandal attached to my family's name. I will remain here as a chaperone. In other words, I just want to hear all the goss. I do not understand. We were to be wed. To be wed. So I should feel flattered then. Consider myself lucky that you chose me, lied to me, tried to trick oh. me into a fraud of a marriage. Oh. I shall take my leave of you for the last time, Miss Thompson. Shut up. Oh, that's so sad. Come on, he has to like turn back. <gasps> Is he? Oh, he's turning back. He's turning back. If you had simply come to me and told me of your situation, I would have married you without a second thought. <gasps> Oh, stop it. Come on, you can still do it. I mean, it's really hard to just... There's pros and cons on both sides. But I, I understand where he's coming from. Like, she has basically just, like, lied to him about everything and found out about it through Lady Whistledown. So I get what he's doing, but it's just... It's a bit sad, really. The thing is, what's Marini gonna do now? Oh, oh this is fancy. Is it not marvellous to be wed? It is both a joy and a wonder indeed. Oh, for the fakeness. I seem to have learnt from the best. Oh, she sees something. She sees something. She's going to talk to them like, is something going on? And then Daphne's going to be like, uh -huh. At least that is the excuse he gives for coming home with paint and all kinds of peculiar places. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh. Were you able to meet my friend Weatherby at my party? Oh, was that, was Weatherby the guy that was with the art guy? I'm guessing so. Ooh, yeah, I definitely think in a future season they'll be, they'll explore them too. So, you have returned. Oh, Excellent I timing, because of the tittle so Only you, your grace. A special soiree with the married ladies of the Tom, of which you are the newest member. So she just joined like a little like married club now. Oh, she, oh, are they going to get turned away? The audacity. Oh. To think that Miss Thompson would take advantage of my kindness after I opened my home to her. Oh. You must believe. I had no idea. Oh, my God. Yeah, surely she doesn't actually think that people won't believe that she didn't have anything to do with it. thing is, if it is Penelope, why would she just dob her own family into it? I get revenge for Marina, but, like, I don't know. It could not be her, but if it is, like, it doesn't really make sense. Lady Featherington, I must ask you to leave. Yeah, Not yeah. anymore. Do you know what might have truly helped matters? If your motherly advice had actually prepared me to wed. Whatever do you mean? I mean, Mama, that you sent me out into the world no better than a fool. To be fair, she literally told her nothing. They should have had, like, the talk. 
I came here to apologize to you. Oh. And I wanted to tell you that what you felt you had to do, I understand. The next thing I knew, my courses stopped and I found myself with child. The thing is, it's really sad because, like, you find yourself in that situation. There's literally nothing you can do that's, like, morally right. Except for, like, get married. But obviously she was sent there and he's out to war. So they can't do, like, get married or anything. So sticky sticky. I'm glad that Daphne feels for her, though. Because at least Marina has, like, a person on her side. I have a more lucrative proposition in mind. Say for you and I to come to some arrangement as to the outcome of your next fight. Wait, what's he trying to do? And I'll make such a wager on your opponent that even half my winnings will set you and your family up for life. My honor is not for sale. Oh, uh, I'm confused. What's he trying to do? It obviously involves a lot of money. Oh, shit, Sherlock. Or for his future son to become some exhausted fighter stumbling into the ring to put food on the table for his family. Oh, the mind games. Do not dare speak of my family. The mind games, he's trying to get into his heads. Oh, what's he gonna do? I think he will. He'll turn up to his house like, I'm in. Do you suppose the general's wife will be in attendance at Lady Danbury's soiree? Heard she enjoys society. Then send word back. I would love to attend. All these fancy balls and stuff and like luncheons. I wanna go. How do I get an invite? Oh my god. This is like fast. Oh my god, so they have like drinking games and like poker. Oh my god, they do have drinking games and poker. I was just joking. Oh my god, I love that. And this is Kitty Lang, the general's wife. Yes. Well, lovely to meet you all. Aww. At least she's getting like girlfriends. Aww. Well, at least she's like having fun. Evening, your grace. This is the men's version. How boring is that? I'd rather go to the women's one. It's like the comparison in Titanic. Like the third class dancing scene compared to like the first class men smoking cigars and drinking and talking about money or something. Rose is like, so you think you're all big tough men? Now let's see you do this. And she's like, hold my dress. And she's like, you know, oh my God. Oh, oh is that, what's her name? Sienna. Is that her name? I think it's Sienna. Yourself, I rather think you the victor, Lady Danbury. <laughs> <laughs> I rather think so too. Again. Oh, I actually love Lady Danbury so much. She's so nice. And the bubbles? See, look how boring this is. They really don't know how to party, do they? She's not capable of fucking up this severely. Ooh. Whoa. Yet you cannot possibly understand the responsibility of heading a family because you've never had one. Ah, but Daphne is my family now. It's the fact that your father was so absent. He never gave you a proper example of how to lead a household. Oh, they're cutting deep into each other. True friendship, you know? God. What's he gonna do? He's gonna go... Oh, he's not. I thought there was gonna be, like, some slaps. Do you think he's looking down on you now? Oh. Ashamed. Oh. Oh, there is gonna be a fight. Love it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Watch this. Look at, look at... Oh, no! This is too funny. Okay, that fake blood on his head's a bit. <laughs> bit. <laughs> Iffy. God, they were in on each other. I knew they had to fight, because, like, they weren't just saying, I don't like you. They were going full family deep. I don't know why I just keep doing this. Shall I call for Jeffries? No. Let me help you. Is that what she's going to do? Let me. Oh, there we go. I should have wrote the show. Their relationship is so complicated. You could have written this in like a Wattpad story. <laughs> kind of cute though, actually. A child would be a blessing. Just tell her. Tell her. Because I swore a long time ago that I would never sire a child. There we go. I Just do not her. understand. Finally. My father cared more about the continuation of the Hastings line. More than my mother. More than you. More than me. Or has our wedding day slipped your mind? I told you. You told me that you could not have children. Right, his father was the worst father ever. I get that. And he doesn't want to carry on the line. But he's dead now. He's not, like, still alive in his ear. Like, come on, have a child, marry. I get it. He's angry. But he kind of needs to get over it. I don't get why he can't just be like, that was it. That's the end of that era. This is a new era. A revenge against a man who no longer walks this earth. I swore to him exactly. on his deathbed. And you betrayed me in our marriage bed. Ooh. I mean, oh, this is, oh, that both of them, both of them, you betrayed me in our marriage bed. Yeah, but you did the same thing to him afterwards. I don't know who to, I don't know who to like. 
Oh, I just think I just need to watch. But as the season continues, the biggest gamblers have yet to truly show their hand. She's still wearing a corset. It's so bad for the baby. That the Duke and Duchess of Hastings have yet to entertain callers together. Oh, they just... Come on, therapy, therapy. Have a talk, please. Oh, she's pregnant. She's pregnant. But the column that singled out Marina was different. It was personal. Your mama did not just help Marina hide her condition all on her own. Well, of course not. Every servant in our household knew. Servant is unlikely. I'm so happy they're friends again. But, I don't know. It's making it, like, pretty obvious that it is Penelope, though. It's definitely giving us, like, clues. You wrote to the general? Yes. And did the Duke sign his name as well on this letter? No. They will pay attention to the words of a duchess. He must. Are you so unworldly? Is it because she's a woman that she just won't... She won't be taken as seriously than a man, a.k.a. the Duke? Oh, honestly, these times were just a bit shitty, weren't they? You look lovely. Mm. Eloise. <sighs> Oh my god, she looks so different. I actually love it. That doesn't even look like her. I think it's the bangs. I would simply like to understand your... ...situation. I'm in love with Lord Weatherby. You're married. And our marriage affords my wife her freedoms and protections. Oh my god, he came out and said it straight away. And our marriage affords my wife her freedoms and protections. It is a happier union than most of the people in this room have. Uh, wait, so does, her, does his wife literally just not care then? Because I'm guessing she just gets around as well. Like, when she made the comment like, oh, he's got paint in all kinds of places. I'm guessing she doesn't care then. But how did... I wonder how that conversation went. You've had a constant threat of danger, Bridgerton. I risk my life every day. You have no idea what it is like to be in a room with someone you cannot live without. This thing, I mean, I don't know if, like, they've become a thing, but Benedict is definitely like, hmm, what is this world that you live? You talk of doing the same. But perhaps it is merely just that. Ooh. All talk. Thing is, that's the thing, if he was any other man, he would have been like, oh, that's disgusting, like, blah, 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 but he's intrigued. That's why I definitely think there's something. Future season, future season. There is still good she must do. <laughs> Child, go. <laughs> I've always wanted to use those glasses, though. Child, go. I would like to make a stop and pick up a friend. A friend? <gasps> Should I not have a friend? Oh, is he picking up the art guy? Oh, oh no, it's... Mademoiselle Bridgerton. This is my sister, Louise, and we will be dropping her at home. Oh, her. I thought he was picking up the art guy. The Bridgerton. You mean everyone except for the Featheringtons? <laughs> yes, everyone except. <laughs> oh. So, I certainly never want to cross the woman. A word as good as gospel. Oh. Wait, no, she thinks that she's Lady Whistledown. Oh, I thought she was thinking it was one of the Featheringtons. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't like poison or anything, was it? Marina! Oh my gosh, she did poison Marina! herself. Marina! She did poison! <gasps> Shut up. Oh wait, she's bleeding. That's why she's pregnant though. Or is she not? I guess it was just late then. <laughs> God, this is a bit deep, isn't it? That's not the end, is it? <laughs> God's sake. Talk about scandalous. I said that a lot in this episode, but so I'm guessing at the end she did end up having a period, so I'm guessing it was just late then. That's bad though for her because that means she's not going to have a child because she's not pregnant and they don't look like they're going to be doing anything anytime soon. So I didn't realize Marina was poisoning herself. At first I was like, is she just making herself like a cup of tea with some like flowers in? <laughs> oh God. So does Eloise now think that the dress lady is like lady whistle down i mean it could be but i don't think it is oh one more episode to go oh that's actually really sad anyway thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed there's only one more episode left now which i think is really sad because i just want to see more <laughs> so i really hope they do see new seasons like yearly not every two years like stranger things but next episode we'll definitely find out who lady whistle down is i think it, i just think it is penelope because you've got to have the inside information i mean the dress really does make sense i can't remember her name but the dress lady does make sense because while they were talking about stuff, she was there listening. But I don't know. 
I don't know. All my social media links will be in the description below if you want to follow me in any of those. And I'll see you in the next video. So, so, so scandalous. Literally, every time I say scandal, that song just comes up in my head.